Hey guys, I think it's time for a new move cell. So, let's do this. This will be our 14th move cell. I can't believe how much progress that we made. Um, as always, I said that our uh, next move cell we'll be doing is soon to. So, let's do this. And the first level is the Battle of Hulao Gate. Oh boy. I suggest my Lord Wan Shao. Yes. All right then. I accept the position of Grand Commander, and I swear to destroy the traitor Don Zhao. have begun their attack! I shall accompany you. Okay, as always, the intro. The hard-fought struggle against the Yellow Turbans brought peace to the troubled land. However, this peace was short-lived, as the General Dong Zhuo emerged from the Yellow Turban campaign, hoping to seize power for himself. While pretending to serve in the name of the Child Emperor, Dong Zhuo enters the capital of Luoyang, seizing control of the government. With his newfound power and the mighty Lu Bu at his side, Dong Zhuo begins a reign of terror shaking the imperial institution to its very core. Han loyalists, dissatisfied with Dong Zhuo's abuse of power, rally around young Cao Cao's call to expunge the corrupt leader, raising an alliance to oppose him. With Wan Shao as their leader, an answer to the tyranny of Dong Zhuo is formed. In the year 191, the two forces meet in the lands east of Luoyang with the strategically vital Fan Shui and Hu Lao Gates as a backdrop, the battle for control of the land is once again about to begin. Okay, the equipment. Uh, I think the weapon's at default. Yeah, just a regular Tampa. The items, I'm going to put as the same. Health, Muso Max. Attack, D, and... A horse, as always, and I'll use the red hair. Um, and the bodyguards are the same. The conditions are the same. If Dong Zhuo is defeated, we win. If Yuan Shao is defeated, or if I'm defeated, we lose. Um, unit info. Nothing really changes. There's only one change I can actually think of now. Just going back to it. And that's Zhang Liao. If you play as him at Hulao Gate, I don't know if he played it in his Musa mode, but he won't appear, obviously. Um, because he'll be playing for Wei. Um, anyway, uh, let's do this. Soon Jian, go straight ahead. Cow Cow, go to the top of the Fan Shui Gate. Wan Shu, you attack from the rear. Lu Bei, go around and keep an eye on the Hu Lao Gate. I defeated an officer. I defeated an officer! We will crush them today.
All right. Facing those offices was surely easy enough. Really? Let me go. Now I'm gonna go face Lubu. Doesn't look like he did that much damage yet. I wonder what happens if you go there before the cutscene. Cause it looks like he's not doing much. Gate and attack Dong Zhuo. Yeah, I was about to say, why was he the first one charging at me? I defeated an officer. Don't fall behind. Be so eager to die. Impressive. You're even stronger than they say. I defeated an officer. I mean, Lu how I see Lubu in this one, he's easy, it's just the range that makes it harder. Because he could attack from afar. Yeah, Sun Tzu has to be one of my favorite characters. I like his Tompas. You're a better general than I have heard. I mean, as you see, I completely destroyed the living hell out of Lubu. I mean, yes, I know. If anyone watches the videos beforehand, I will admit that this is on easy, but, you know, things are still not easy, even if you have an advantage like this. Like, I played Zhao Yun the very, very first time playing Zhao Yun, uh, Zhao Yun's uh, Musou mode. We must fight well. Yeah, 
and I couldn't even defeat Shaho Doon and Chang Ban. Anyway, I got the Musa Wine. And now I'm gonna defeat Zhu uh, Rong and secure the gate. I just realized I defeated Lubu and I still have my bodyguards. So I guess it's a win win. Now, isn't there a pot somewhere? Oh, there it is. I didn't grab that for me, I grabbed that for my bodyguards. Really? Alright. So now I'm gonna keep on moving. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the guy on top of the Fan Chui gate. Uh, I think the name's Fan Fan Chu. I'm not gonna go for him because they'll take care of it. Well, Sao Sao will take care of it for now. Um, if I was playing under any officer of a way, I would attack. Uh, I would just uh, defeat them, obviously. But for now, I'm gonna stick with the program and go straight for Dong Zhuo because there's nothing more else I need to do other than that I mean what am I supposed to do? Wait 20 minutes for the two uh, officers on top to uh, appear? No I might as well defeat them now when I get the chance Seriously? Alright. <laughs> like the lamb to the slaughter. Now fire. Just keep on moving, don't worry, and try not to get hit. I mean, they're easy to defeat. Something is coming. Let's go. We'll be first at Bulao Gate. Watch the Hulao Gate. When the gate opens, we will storm the castle. Yeah, I don't know exactly what happens with the assault captain if he gets defeated. However, I think I might know. Like, if he gets defeated, I think Li Ru appears and he has to defeat him in order to open the gate. I think. I mean... I mean, it's not, it's not, I know, I don't know this for a fact, but it's just a theory. 
I could be wrong. I didn't know you were this good of a warrior. Comes the old Chan. I will show you the splendor of my dance. I mean, she's not difficult. I mean, if you play with anyone that you know that, uh... I, defeated an officer. I mean, if you find someone that you know that, well... Let me rephrase. Father, please forgive. I mean, if you if you have a character that you're good with, you could be almost good facing anyone with any. Yeah, let's try it one more time, shall we? If you have the right officer that you, the right character that you like using, you're basically invincible. I mean, I like using Sunsa uh, a lot. Let us call you a brave general. So, playing, using him a lot makes things like. Don't fall behind. What's a good example? I'm more used with Sun Tzu than I was with Zhao Yun. That's a great example because when I played with Zhao Yun, it was a bit tricky. That's just me. That's a win. That was a really easy win. But yeah, as I was saying before, you know, Sun Tzu is one of my one of the characters I like using. Um, yeah, that only took 11 minutes. Hmm. Oh, a little under 12 minutes, I should say, which is not bad. A seven. Ooh, 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 ooh. did a lot of stuff here. So either stick with nothing, which ain't happening, HP max, or a little bit of everything. Um, for the fact that it has an attack, plus two. I will use that for now. Not to attack, nope, nothing. Alright. So we got... 336 kills, which isn't a lot for this level. Um, I actually defeated Lu Bu without losing any of my officers, so that's a bit of a plus for me. Um, that's not bad. 6,300. Oh yeah. One other thing. For the fact that Sun Tzu is actually a ruler, uh, he starts out at class 13, just like Sun Chuan. Which will be another thing that I'll bring up much later in the videos. Since Sun Tzu is like one of the dead characters that you have to basically unlock at the end of the Musou endings. Like, his face is in the sky, that basically means he doesn't make it. Um, I'll explain more of that in the next video. Since we didn't do Jaho Doom, then we're gonna override it. 
And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part. And I'll explain more about the whole uh, scene with the, the ending scenes with the characters that you see in the sky. I'll explain that more in the next video. Peace.